so i just thought i'll record when i had her on my lap this is my other cat this one's tofu so yeah say hi to tofu guys tofu say hi she's really freaking soft no you can't tell from over there but uh softest little kitten i've ever touched and she's actually an adult technically now and you an adult and you grown cat that's so scared of strangers that you go and hide whenever a stranger comes you'll always be under the bed right tofu What's up folks it's early morning when i record this the perfect time to watch a zoo designs video and i've got the perfect one for you here i wanted to rewrite the periodic table there's a guy who has gone on the joe rogan podcast and said some things about how the periodic table should be so let's watch it and uh, just pick out some problematic statements that he made my intention was to rebuild the periodic table you know build a new periodic table cuz the stuff i had learned in in college you know i went to school for chemical engineering the first year over at pratt okay. and they at the time i think it was like 108 elements and i asked i told the teacher um the professor about um the relationship between hydrogen on the spectrometer and carbon and silicon and cobalt and i was like it's the same exact color same tone just doubled in each octave what does he mean by tone and color in this case i guess but see in in the period table there is a relationship between the elements everything along the same row have the same number of valence electrons so they have very similar chemical properties they form similar compounds with uh, other elements and all, all that stuff and along the row they they have similar sizes similar masses similar number of protons so they have very similar physical properties you could say the number of valence electrons increase by one as you go along a row but yeah we already have that now what is he saying hydrogen and carbon have a relationship and he was like no each element is the same element and it will always be that element and i was like you don't see the relationship so i left school and i was going to spend 40 years rebuilding the periodic table and i found out that walter russell had already did that and he did it based upon the natural curvature of everything and when you say rebuild the periodic table what do you mean specifically and also what does he mean by the natural curve of everything see the problem i find with uh, joe rogan is that even though he's skeptical sometimes and rightly so what he does is he brings on these conspiracy theories and complete nut jobs and uh, he platforms them he gives them a place in his podcast to say those crazy ideas that's what's problematic if i before you need all the skepticism here you should have used that at the time you filtered the guests uh, that you bring on to your podcast and decided okay we don't need this person the periodic table they have now Let's see it, the looks, it looks it looks like a oh, box it. it looks like a straight box mm -hmm. and they don't show the relationship that between every element there's between every there's two no the, right, here's a periodic table you'll see hydrogen sitting all the way over there by itself but they don't show that hydrogen has the same tone as as carbon there's a reason hydrogen is over there because it has the same number of valence electrons as the alkali metals and it has similar chemical properties it forms similar compounds as sodium or lithium or all those elements what do you mean by tone same tone same key of e same key of e same tone what, what does that mean are these elements musical somehow key of e same key of e 40.5 hertz the next one would be like um 81 hertz 40.5 hertz 81 hertz w where does that come from i mean those are frequencies see i understand that hydrogen and all the elements have these spectral lines and uh, those corresponding wavelengths have corresponding frequencies of light those are not in hertz those are very high orders of 10 hertz like terahertz and shit i'm not sure how much but it's definitely not hertz i can't think of one property of hydrogen that is in hertz so what does he mean exactly i mean he's so vague in whatever he's saying that i don't know what to make of it you go to silicon it will double up and would be 162 hertz and also i'm being pedantic here i guess but it's not silicon 
that's a different material entirely it's silicon the element is silicon you go to 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 cobalt and it'll be 324 hertz it's you know in that base if you were to take the angles of incidence or the tones that they create angles of incidence what do you mean by that i mean i can think of a law of reflection angle of incidence but what do you mean in this context you know their color like you can turn color back into sound based upon it's the same wavelength it's just twice as long or much longer so all you have to do is keep dividing light by 2 keep that up to me you keep dividing light by 2 and you'll ultimately get back to the audible sound of it because there was a relationship between light and color sound and tone matter and shape i agree with this relationship between light and color and frequency all that i i'm fine but how is that related to elements and the periodic table i put um i i sent over yeah. walter russell's i'm trying to get to that that's what yeah mm. it's it's walter russell's period by the way people when you hear stuff this is all the specifics you should analyze uh ask questions just asking questions can take you a long way in skepticism out a table that he put together now you compare that to what we menelaoff mendeleoff's periodic table you can believe there walter russell's to it and you'll see something completely different it's unwinding whoa it's unwinding and you see there's a relationship that hydrogen So you you had figured this out at a young age? I had already seen this. This was this was all inside of this was all inside of that palace. I had access to it and I knew the so relationship. So you saw this in dreams. I saw what palace and I, this needs to be bigger. Oh, as a circle, everything was a full circle laid out and each area was just expanding like wrapping uh, a rag around your hand. The first wrap, you know, it's so tight. The very first wrap is so tight. That's the first one that Walter Russell Sure, it's a very nice and uh, aesthetic and geometric image, but does it carry any meaning? Did, yeah. But go back to the um the wiggly one. This is how I saw it more so, but as a vortex, but you'll see there's a relationship between hydrogen, carbon, silicon, cobalt, rhodium. They're all bonded. They're all sit be- as the middle point between two noble gases. So the I wish I could read of that small image, but don't you think if this were true, it will actually have some substance behind it? There are people who have been uh, looking into chemists who have been looking into uh things like the periodic table for so long they've researched it all their lives and they don't have anything those things don't really exist it's only one substance now the problem is the first thing that we're able to perceive is hydrogen that's the first visible element because before it is too dense for us to perceive it you understand what i'm okay. saying okay okay but as you reach into the next octave the carbon octave carbon octave what these are not musical notes where's he getting these man i i don't know it's very kooky at this point and they call that the a bisexual tone Be- because the carbon has two tones to it it has a negative side and a positive side the part where lithium behaves lithium is a is contractive beryllium is contractive boron is contractive but the moment you get to carbon you balance it out it gets to a perfect balance of plus and minus 4 so it actually look at that image i managed to find the actual table what is he saying here hydrogen is so there hydrogen is the first visible element so there are elements he's saying in the first three octaves but they not visible and what does he mean by carbon has a positive and a negative well okay that's the periodic table in case you are curious let's go back to the video what's a double tone then nitrogen is minus 31 minus 3 oxygen is minus 2 fluorine is minus 1 now the balance of this all of those are mates fluorine and lithium naturally mate If you have lithium bonded with any other element the moment that fluorine is introduced it will break all bonds violently so it can bond with fluorine same thing with beryllium and oxygen that's why it said and what they've tried to keep from us if you have you want to break water into its component parts of hydrogen and oxygen all you have to do is introduce 
beryllium or the sound of beryllium. And, and oxygen will violently break away from any other thing, even hydrogen, to bond. This has gone, the conspiracy theory has gone beyond the point where I can understand or comment on it. So I don't think there's any point watching any more of this. But hey, if you're interested, the name of the video is this. Go check it out. But uh, that's it from me. Uh, over here on this channel, we watch some pseudoscience videos and react to them and talk about uh, why that idea is not held by the scientific community, why that idea is not in consensus. And I will check out another video in the next video and I will see you there. Bye.